Rui Lopez opening, Fianchetto defense, 4.c3. Giveaway one player was winning, but then gave it away. That game was pretty competitive. Both players had an amazing opening. That was an incredible middle game by both players. Both players had incredible precision in the end game. Sharp games are frequently the result of starting with the king's pawn since it dominates the center and frees up the bishop and queen on the light squares. A typical answer is e5, which builds a position in the middle, controls d4, and frees up the queen and bishop on the dark square. The move nf3 advances the knight toward the center, engages the e5 piece in combat, and sets up a castle. nc6 defends the pawn on e5, advances the knight toward the center, and scans the d4 square. The Rui Lopez opening develops the bishop to immediately attack the knight on c6, the lone defender of the e5 pawn. The dark squared bishop is getting ready to be fianchetto to g7, where it will sit on the long diagonal. c3 controls the d4 square and prepares the d4 pawn push. A pawn kicks the opposing bishop, forcing it to move or risk being captured. The bishop is now in a secure position. As a result, the bishop grows and gains flexibility on the long diagonal. Castling gets the king to a safer square, out of the center of the board, while also developing a rook. Castling king side tends to be safer because the king is further from the center. The bishop is prepared to grow into a functional square. The bishop will be better off as a result of this. It is the final book action. This keeps the material balance in check with good commerce. It is quite good. Backs off. It is quite good. This defends a knight who is being attacked and is not well defended. It is ideal. It is a fair deal after all captures. It is ideal. This exchange is fair. It is ideal. Making the adversary double their pawns makes it easier to establish flaws. It is ideal. Recaptures. It is ideal. What I would have advised is that. It is ideal. This develops a knight from its starting square, activating it. That's good. By doing this, a knight moves out of its beginning square and into the action. That's good. Castling gets the king to a safer square, out of the center of the board, while also developing a rook. Castling to the same side of the board as the opponent avoids some of the attacking associated with opposite side castling. It is good. The knight can now control more squares as a result. It is quite good. Very precise. It is best. By growing a bishop from its initial square, this activates it. It is ideal. By moving a rook from its starting square, this activates it. By elevating it to the seventh rank, this poses a threat of activating a rook. It is ideal. This can indicate that a knight was attacked. It is ideal. This overlooks an opportunity to activate a rook by getting it to the seventh rank. It is a mistake. The pawn is now on a square that is safer. That's good. Now that the rooks can see one another, they can defend one another. It is ideal. The rooks are linked by this, making it easier for them to work together in the future. It is ideal. A powerful play. It is quite good. A rook enters the action after developing outside of its starting square as a result. It is ideal. Perfectly on point. It is ideal. The best choice is this one. It is ideal. Not the finest, this. It is incorrect. As a result, the bishop may now control more squares because it is in a better position. It is quite good. That is a logical response. It is quite good. What I would have advised is that. It is ideal. Very precise. It is best. The bishop is currently located at an outpost, a safe square within the opponent's domain. It is ideal. Perfectly on point. It is ideal. This enables the adversary to kick the queen. It is incorrect. A pawn kicks the opposing queen, forcing her to move or risk being captured. It is ideal. 
The queen is now on a square that is more secure. That's good. The best choice is this one. It is ideal. Backs off. It is ideal. Recaptures. It is ideal. This wastes a chance to threaten a rook and gain the tempo. It is incorrect. The rooks can see each other now, allowing them to provide mutual defense. This is the only good move. It is a great move. What I would have advised is that. It is ideal. This reveals an impending attack on a knight. It is ideal. By posing a threat to a queen and compelling it to flee, this wins a tempo. It is ideal. This is an equal trade. This is the only move that works. It is a great move. Backs off. It is ideal. This overlooks a safer approach to moving a queen. It is incorrect. This poses a risk of winning a pawn. That's good. This prevents the adversary from winning a pawn. It is ideal. This is not the best approach. It is incorrect. The queen is now on a square that is more secure. It is ideal. It is a fair deal after all captures. That's good. This exchange is fair. It is ideal. This keeps the material balance in check with good commerce. It is ideal. Recaptures. Black is equal at this point in the endgame. It is ideal. The pawn is now in a safe position. That's good. This defends a pawn that was under attack and had no defenders. This is the only good move. It is a great move. This comes in several sections. It is quite good. This defends the attacked pawn. This is the only move that works. It is a great move. It was a free pawn there. This poses a fork piece threat. It is ideal. Very precise. It is best. The rook is now on a square that is more secure. It is ideal. Perfectly on point. It is ideal. This steps away from the checking rook. This is the only good move. It is a great move. That's a decent move. That's good. After all captures, this is an equal trade. It is best. Giveaway one player was winning, but then gave it away. That game was pretty competitive. Both players had an amazing opening. That was an incredible middle game by both players. Both players had incredible precision in the end game.